Libra. This will happen in the next 48 hours for February the 1st through February the 2nd, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for February the 1st through February the 2nd, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for February the 1st through February the 2nd, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for February the 1st through February the 2nd, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon. Rising and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. That's Omega333 Tarot. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys' support, Libra. Libra, these are your cards, honey. So, Libra, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone, in my own right, am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So Libra, you can tell me that you're independently abundant on your own or you're single. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Libra. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Libra. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Libra. It is clarified with the Four of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There is an offer on the table that you're not accepting or rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending an offer, but you feared that the offer would be rejected. So Libra, very well could be an offer coming into you that you're thinking about missing. However, you could be contemplating sending an offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. Now Libra, listen, you know, you can tell me that there's an offer coming into you and you're rejecting it or thinking about missing it because you just would rather remain single. You can tell me that you're wanting to come in with this offer because you don't want to be single. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. Hmm. Feel like you had a missed opportunity with dealing with abundance here or your coins libra you have the ten of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn this is financial success and abundance this is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation creating a legacy so we're speaking of marriage commitment home family assets resources property inheritance legacy so Libra, listen, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance. Very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the ten of pentacles for Libra. Clarify the ten of pentacles for Libra. Clarify the ten of pentacles for Libra. It is clarified with the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. And this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So Libra, very well could be a shocking surprise. Shocking revelation. Something being revealed or a breakup. Clarify the tower. For Libra, clarify the tower. For Libra, clarify the tower. For Libra, it is clarified with you, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, the King of Swords. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. But Libra, this is you. Clarify the King of Swords. For Libra, clarify the King of Swords. 
for Libra. What about Libra? What about Libra? Clarify the King of Swords for Libra. It is clarified with the King of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Libra. Clarify the King of Cups for Libra. Clarify the King of Cups for Libra. It is clarified with the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their chart. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Libra. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Libra. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Libra. It is clarified with the Four of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home, but this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Libra, listen, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. Goodness, Libra. Libra, this can be about something catching you off guard here concerning finances and your financial stability here. And you're needing to make a decision, but you're going to remove emotions out of it. I don't know. Like I said, it could be dealing with your abundance here. And I don't know. You're thinking about missing this offer. Libra, you can tell me that there's an offer that catches you off guard concerning commitment here. And you're needing to make a decision. You can tell me that you have a great deal of love for this person. But in making this decision, it's going to be a head over heart decision. You could also tell me that in you guys' already established commitment that something was illuminated here. Some type of shocking shakeup. And you may be making a decision to just become single. Libra, you have the three of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is you waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for what you set your intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So, Libra, you can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that your ships are here. You can tell me that you're looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand or even travel. Clarify the three of wands for Libra. Clarify the three of wands. For Libra, clarify the three of wands. For Libra, it is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself, and hold yourself back from something. So Libra could be dealing with a Leo. But you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back. Or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Libra. Clarify strength for Libra. Clarify strength for Libra. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone, demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. 
Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So, Libra, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Libra. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Libra. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Libra. It is clarified with the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus, but the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. So Libra could be dealing with a Taurus. You guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences, or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Libra. Clarify the Hierophant for Libra. Clarify the Hierophant for Libra. It is clarified with the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So Libra, could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that you're in the dark concerning something. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or there's a secret. Clarify the moon for Libra. Clarify the moon. For Libra, clarify the moon. For Libra, it is clarified with the Nine of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Libra, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. So Libra, hmm. You can tell me that this person is confronting you, but you're in your head. You're using your intuition that you need to wait. You, you may be holding back and waiting. Speaking on commitment here, wanting to go into commitment here. You could also tell me that your intuition is telling you to just look to see what else is out there. I don't know if you're with this commitment. You could also tell me that you're dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, and you're using your intuition that you need to hold back and wait, or you're holding back and maybe wanting to look to see what else is out there. It just seems like someone is making you an offer that you can refuse. Libra, you have justice. This is you, Libra, but you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So Libra, this is you. Clarify justice for Libra. Clarify justice. For Libra. What about Libra? What about Libra? Clarify justice. For Libra. It is clarified with the Three of Wands again. So you can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that your ships are here. You can tell me that you're looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand or even travel. So, like I said, either you're wanting to wait or you're wanting to look to see what else is out there. Or you're just waiting before you make this decision. Libra, you have the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past. Remembering someone from your past. But something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So Libra, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture. Someone from your past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here. Or this involves children. Clarify the Six of Cups for Libra. Clarify the Six of Cups for Libra. Clarify the Six of Cups for Libra. It is clarified with the lovers. Oh. 
Could be dealing with a Gemini. But the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So Libra, could be dealing with a Gemini. But you can tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull. You can tell me there's another other lover. But the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers. For Libra, clarify the lovers. For Libra, clarify the lovers. For Libra, it is clarified with the three of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be that is causing you heartbreak. So Libra, you're telling me that you're hurt. And you could be hurt because your feelings are hurt or you're hurt because there's a third party. You know, Libra... I feel like your hesitation here is, is that in the past, they had another other lover, a third party, and they hurt you. But now they're coming in wanting forgiveness and wanting to speak on commitment here. And it's like you can't even entertain the thought. It's like you don't even want to entertain the thought of it. Libra? I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Libra. This is just additional messages here. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. That's Omega333 Tarot. Thank you. It says karmic third party relationship lesson. Karmic third party relationship lesson. Maybe you just feel like this person is a karmic for you and you've learned a hard lesson here and maybe you don't want more of this. What else for Libra? What else for Libra? And it says cleansing, meditation, clearing space, removing negativity. Cleansing, meditation, clearing space, removing negativity. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Libra, this will happen in the next 48 hours for February the 1st through February the 2nd, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.